injuries are not accidents, right? They're just, they're just not. At Sports Science Solutions, we conduct some of the most advanced athletic assessment in the world. Now we want to share our team and our experiences with you. This is Homeschooled. You know, our, our shoulders are rotated too far forward from constant repetition of, say, shooting pucks, hitting baseballs, doing anything. And then, and then all of a sudden we get a little bit of contact. The number one thing I get is, you know, it wasn't even hit that hard. She wasn't even, she was bumped. She fell awkward. And now all of a sudden we have an AC joint separation. You know, we need knee surgery, MCL, ACL. You know, none of these are accidents. And it is, it is from overuse, constant repetition, zero counter imbalance. And then when we bring athletes into, into the weight room side of things, now we're adding load to these imbalances. The more we go out there and talk to coaches and talk to strength coaches and trainers and all these things, the more scary it becomes to realize that there is this disconnect out there. And, um, you know, now that we're using technology to assess athletes and put measurables to their bodies, um, it's becoming more and more obvious that they're not going to be doing what they're trying to physically. I always try to educate our younger strength coaches on don't get so concerned about load in the gym. Get concerned about movement patterns. Get concerned about correcting imbalances. And get concerned about making them athletic strong, not gym strong. Um, you know, I, I think there's a huge disconnect with that as well. And, and again, there's a time and a place, but it's not the time all the time to constantly try to go with the model bigger, stronger, faster, bigger, stronger, faster. It usually ends up in, in something catastrophic if you're constantly, you know, just trying to push that. We need to get people to understand what we're looking at so they can truly appreciate what they're putting their children through. And if they're a youth athlete, they can start to understand what they need to do to be successful and also help. Again, it's probably one of the most redundant things I say. Injuries are not accidents, right? They're just, they're just not. Um, so, again, you know, moving in the direction where we do have the technology, we have the right minds, and then have the right mindset, a lot of this stuff can be corrected. A lot of it can be not catastrophic, right? You know, uh, I'm not saying my athletes don't get injured, but I will say this. If they do get nicked up or banged up, they're back a heck of a lot faster than some of the other athletes that, you know, again, it's more catastrophic. You know, constantly creating the imbalance, constantly, you know, just, again, same movement patterns, same load, fighting the imbalance, right? Again, eventually the, the machine's just going to break down. Absolutely. Well, and we see it every day with the data we look at, which is, it's even more scary. You can see it with your eyes, but when right. you start looking at the data, it's even more obvious. It's, it's even more alarming. So uh, the importance right. of getting this stuff out there, I'm, I mean, this, it's just paramount we, because the best athletes are the available athletes. That's where it starts. So, 100%. Yeah, 100%.